hello everyone in this video I am going to show you what are type data set and I hope you will really enjoy its features now to work with type data set I need to add a file I will right click and add new item I need to add a data set which is a file with an extension of XSD XML schema definition so any file with an extension xsd is called as typed data set I'll name it as my org ds it is going to add it into app underscore code folder I'll say s now I got my xsd file so this is a data set which is a type data set use the data set designer to visually create and edit type data sets so now what is that I can do I have the data set I can fill this data set with the data tables directly by dragging and dropping it on the data set I'll drag and drop table employee on the data set I'll save this I got my table employee in the data set now this is a type data set which contains a table which is typed table I can also drag and drop even department table you can find the relationship as well employee table and department table if you observe this column this is primary key if you observe this column this is salary this is right click properties you'll find all the constraints date of joining is of type date time it is no more a string so to create a type data set it is very simple add the data set file and drag and drop the table now I got the TBL employee table TBL department table in the data set my organization DS now what I'll do I'll go back to this disconnected architecture code that I wrote in the button click I'll simply copy this and paste it on disconnected type data set where I have a button and a grid view as usual we need three namespaces so I'm going to even copy the namespaces from here and I'll paste it here now this is the code that I have which works on disconnected architecture untyped data set now when I have the type data set I'm not at all going to create a data set object which is a generic a general data set now I'm going to create an object of my organization data set DS equals to new my organization DS and whenever I'm going to fill the data set with a data table I'm going to fill the data table that I have employee data table so I'm going to create an object of the employee data table that I have on in my organization data set dot TBL employee data table I'll say EDT employee data table equals to new employee data table now this time whenever I want to fill the data set I was using data set and the table name here I'm going to fill this data table directly I'll say da.fill edt employee data table I can say da.fill employee data table and we saw earlier we were creating primary key now this is no more required
to insert a record you are creating a new record of this data table and you are storing it as an object of data row and we are working with these things now let us see if I have a type data set instead of taking general data row I will take my organization data set dot tbl employee row and I'll say er this is completely typed now you will see the advantage of using tbl employee row er equals to I have my employee data table edt I'll say edt dot new row or instead of using new row I can use see that new row will return a data row if I say new employee row it is going to return me the employee row I got ER in our earlier example we were writing the column name manually I need to check the column name and write it here if at all I do any kind of spelling mistake it is going to break now let us see the power of type data set I'll say er dot I'll get employee ID in the intelligence and it says that it is of integer type I need to pass an integer I'll pass 11 same way I'll say er dot EMP name and here the name I'll write as McQueen and I'll say ER dot employee salary employee salary I'll write it as 888 ER dot employee date of joining now if you observe I cannot give this string here it will throw an error saying that it is of type date time and you are trying to assign a string I need to assign date time object so here I as of now I can say date time dot now it is going to take the current time again I can say er dot employee gender male I'll say er dot department ID which is equals to 1009 finally I'll say edt dot rows dot add a data row that is nothing but ER employee row if you compare these two quotes this is not at all type safe whereas this is type safe and this is the advantage of using type data set I'll simply comment it out and I have also commented the primary key code that means for the type data set it should take the primary key automatically and if it is making employee ID as primary key automatically it should stop me from inserting the record 11 and I'll comment out these things I need to make one more change that is nothing but grid view one dot data source is equals to I should give EDT employee data table and execute it now it should stop me from inserting the record saying that you are trying to violate the primary key even though I haven't created the primary key manually it takes the primary key because it is a type data set so hence it has stopped me now if I say or not one this should work fine I have inserted one not one 
so this is the advantage of using typed data set so it is very simple to create a type data set you need to go for adding a data set file then adding the tables to it and performing the operations as you like the help of IntelliSense power that we get the same way you can perform edit operation you can perform delete operation update it back to the database so this is all about your type data set a type data set is nothing but a data set with XML schema definition so if a data set has an XSD file or you can simply say that a file with an extension XSD is called as type data set so type data set has got all the constraints by default this is all about your disconnected architecture type data sets thank you very much